Hey, everybody. No, nobody's on yet. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I'm doing tonight. I want to put it sideways, but I really can't. Oh, man. It's not working. Hello? Who's on? Let me see. Hey. Hey, the crafting chick. Hey. Hey, Alicia. I'm trying to get this camera right, y'all, so y'all can see what I'm doing. How you doing? Hey, Bubbles. Yeah, I'm trying to show y'all what I'm doing real quick. We doing quick stuff tonight. I'm not doing like full on baskets. Can y'all, when y'all come in, can y'all give it a thumbs up, please? I know I haven't been live in a long time. And then let me know if y'all can hear me. Hey. How y'all doing? This thing keep moving. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this straight. You been subscribed? Oh, thank you so much, girl. You been subscribed for me for a long time. I appreciate it. I know I ain't been really consistent, but I mean, it's Valentine's, so we got to. We got to get it together. Yeah, I'm trying to get this camera together, so give me just a second. Okay, I'm trying to put it so I can see y'all comments and do what I'm doing. Can y'all get a video a thumbs up, please? And then let me know if y'all can hear me well, too. Hey, Tammy. Tell Topaz we said hi. And thank you, thank you. So I'm going to get into y'all what, I'm going to get into telling y'all what. Um, maybe I'll open my iPad so I can see your comments while I'm doing what I'm doing. Who said hey? Okay, good. You can hear me very well. Yeah, oh, that's so sweet. I'm so glad I can inspire you, girl. Have you started making baskets? I was saying the camera ain't about it tonight. It's definitely not, girl. You see it just going everywhere. I think just by the staple, I'm going to be able to get it. But as long as y'all can see the table, then that's fine. Can y'all get a video a thumbs up? What are you, are you, so Alicia, are you getting ready for, um, are you getting ready for uh, Valentine's? Hey, Marsha. I'm going to chat with y'all just for a little bit. And then I'll tell y'all what I'm doing. Y'all make sure you get a video a thumbs up, please, when y'all come in. Because we only got seven right now. And there's 24 people on here. Hopefully, sis jump on today. So, y'all, I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, so the people. Dang, that's so good. So, is this your first year selling for Valentine's? So y'all look, this is what, I'm going to look at the comments, but this is all I'm doing right now tonight. I'm not making full brand new baskets. I'm basically, as you saw in the title, I'm basically just repackaging gift packages that's already packaged. And this is an easy way to do something quick for Valentine's Day when, one, you can't or you have not, say you don't, you're starting late, you're just not starting and you want to sell, but you haven't caught any deals um you don't really have a lot of time and you want to get a good amount of inventory i don't know if y'all seen tanisha video yummy tea here on youtube video how she broke down everything it was a really 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 good video and she was explaining how to start selling with like 200 dollars. great 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 information if y'all haven't seen that make sure y'all check it out it was really good okay so hey t johnson hey where did I get the heart boxes? Okay, I'm, just, I'm about to tell you. So, these I actually bought last year from Ross. So, stuff like this, if you don't have time to go out and shop and pick what goes with what, just grab some of these and repackage them. So, these came, let me show y'all. These came just like this. This is one that I haven't packaged yet. Only thing with these gift sets is you're going to have to make sure just like this this stuff is in place so all i do is literally pop these things open put everything in place tape it secure it and then put it in a shrink wrap bag and put you a nice big bow on there like these 
So I haven't finished shrink wrap. I haven't finished shrink wrapping this one because my blow dryer went off. It got too hot. But I did want to show y'all like you can do stuff like this. You don't have to make your own full out baskets. Only thing is, if you want to catch these really discounted, you have to do it right. You have to do it after the holiday and when they go 90% off or whatever like that. These, I actually paid full price for them, but I don't mind that if it's something good and it's something easy for me to put together and to have inventory. So these, I've, I've had a whole year in the storage and I took them out and now I'm wrapping them. I'm actually going to mark these for $60 on the table. So I'm going to make three times the amount. And this is something I already put together. They can see exactly what it is. They don't have to ask me what it is. And it's something that's going to be nice. And it really didn't cost me much. But, you know, so this is, you know, easy, easy, easy. And then let me show the, uh, show y'all the other one that I, I found. These I actually did get discounted. This one, how did you make that bowl look different from most I've seen? Girl... I'll show you how I made it. <laughs> I'll show you how I made it. It's probably not the right way to make bows, but right. When Christmas ended, I bought a bunch of, yes, a bunch of Christmas stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, these boxes was $19.99, and, you know, I, I would have liked to get them less, the hard ones. But, I mean, it's a nice gift set, and you know you can mark it up for Valentine's. Nobody going to be, like, trying to haggle you. Oh, no, I'm not paying. Either they're going to buy it or they're not going to buy it. So, repackage that i'm gonna finish shrink wrapping that one but this one was also really cute to me too i found this one in um tj maxx so i went to tj maxx hey i went to T tj maxx and got these and these were actually on clearance when i found them and this is how much i paid for it eight dollars so i'm not gonna do anything to this i thought about putting this in a bigger basket but for what it's already done it's already i don't have to do anything and this is another thing that's good like when you run out of time you only got a couple weeks left and you know you have still things to put together these are good things if you don't have enough inventory if you run out these are good things to go ahead and wrap up mark that price up and you're still making a profit from it you don't have to do all of you know if you don't have time a lot of people don't have time to do all the bargain shopping i know i would love to stuff is 90 percent off where i'm at. yeah when I can't find stuff that's like discounted, discounted a lot, I just find little gift sets like this that I know that I can mark up. And I'm kind of in a high cost area anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to show y'all the other ones that I got too. Hold on. Let me grab it. another one these sets i found in tj maxx as well and it's a little hand cream a lotion and a face mask those are i paid six dollars for so these are something that you can easily do for like affordable gifts if you want to do something that's like twenty dollars or you want to do something that's like thirty dollars i think the least that i did last year was 35 so I paid six dollars for this and then i can just make this a 35 basket that that would be my bare minimum so that you have something affordable for people it's nothing but lotion and face mask in here so all i would do with this is repackage it put a bow on it and you repackaging something that's already packaged and you can make a good little a good little amount from that so another thing i did today was um pull out baskets flat lay baskets which i um this is one of the ones that I did. You're welcome. You're so welcome. This is one of the ones that I did last year and I had left over. But moving all the baskets and things around, um, it got damaged. So all I do is go to the storage, check all of my packaging. Anything that has rips and tears in it, I literally just put another, another um, shrink wrap bag on it. Shrink wrap it and I put the same. So this is a flat lay, lay basket that I put for 35 as well. And this is just lotion, um, body wash, bath salts, and a candle in that one. And these are, I like these because they're easy to transport because they're flat. And the basket that's in there, these those came from Dollar Tree. 
but you can't even see the basket but i do like that it's a it's a little gold basket that they, they can they can reuse this basket for whatever they want to use it for so that's why i like those so that's basically what i've been doing y'all i'm just repackaging um repackaging baskets that are already made making sure there's no tears or anything in it making them look fresh keeping the same stuff in it and redoing it and then tonight i'm really just focusing on redoing or repackaging my package items because these are already packaged so all i have to do is add a bow to it and it's done so i'm gonna show y'all the bow because all i'm really doing is wrapping stuff tonight so it's really nothing to show you but i am going to show you how to make the bow how i made the bow before i before i get off it's not gonna be a live a long live i'll probably do a longer one tomorrow where we can actually put together a basket basket tomorrow because i have a box of like loose inventory and i have a box of ba um, baskets that i'm going to take apart and rearrange as well so i'm gonna just um it's gonna be the next one. Oh, y'all always ask about shrink wrap bags too. Let me show y'all how big the shrink wrap bag is that I have. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna use it for this one. y'all can see that this shrink wrap bag is pretty big let me put it back can y'all see that hopefully y'all can see that that's how big this shrink wrap bag is for now this is the only size i have this big one or these small ones like this the small one is like that so this is the one, this size is the one that I put the flat lay baskets in. Those flat wire baskets from Dollar Tree, they fit perfectly inside of those. And then all of these baskets, I mean, all of these um, shrink wrap bags, y'all can find on Amazon. And I always link, if you, I never really remember to tell y'all, but all of the stuff that I use in my videos, I, it's always in the description box down below. So always check the description box and you'll be able to find like the shrink wrap bags. You'll be able to find the exact tape that I use because that tape is really good, y'all. Like I've used tape that was not so good and it, it actually takes you longer when you use stuff that is more complicated. Um, so when I found that Easy Start tape, I never use anything else to make my baskets because it's really sturdy. I don't have to worry about nothing coming apart or anything like that. So, oh yeah, I, I said I was going to show y'all both. Well, I just wrap this up and then we'll put a bow on this one. You're going to have a little extra room in this one because it's so good. I just think that the shrink wrap bag makes it look more, more polished and more finished as opposed to just selling it like this. You know, it don't look like your own product. It look like, okay, yeah, she just grabbed that out of the store. So, you don't want it to look like that. Even though I did just grab it out of the store, we don't want it to look like I just grabbed it out of the store. I almost forgot to. I always remember to take your tags off, y'all. Okay, Anybody seeing anything? Let me see. Y'all don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. My day was good. Thank you, Alicia. My day was real good. I have yet to find like I have yet to find um, these penny items, y'all. I'm going to find me some penny items soon. But I have yet to find them. But it's not like I've been looking real hard. I haven't been looking real hard. I tried a couple times, but I just really didn't have the time to put in to, to, to actually look and go from store to store. But I sure want to because I saw, I can't remember her name. She might be on here. I saw her video the other day and she has a, a whole storage full of full of penny items i'm like oh my goodness she found a lot of penny stuff but she did say that it's um it's time consuming so i'm, I'm gonna have to make time to do it because you can't be that like you paying a penny 
imagine paying five cents for a basket or the contents in it and being able to sell that thing for sixty dollars really that's what that's what that's what i yeah that's what i need I saw a comment. I just don't know what it said. Let me see. Hey, oh my gosh, I missed so many of y'all coming on. Hey, Cynthia. I'm good, girl. How are you? Hey, Miss Betty. I also, it also helps to keep the products fresh because they, oh, that's true. That I noticed that too because when I, when I opened that other little basket, that little flat basket I just showed y'all, it smells so good. I'm like, oh, that smells so good. I didn't realize how good it smells. He said, where did you buy your Easy Start tape? I usually um get it from, either you can get it from Amazon or you can get it from Walmart. Yeah, you can get it from either or. So, y'all, one thing I always do that I haven't done yet is print. I, I cut out stickers with my Cricut. So that I can cover it. These was actually from Christmas, but I'm still gonna use it to cover up where I tore the barcode off because I don't like how it looks. Um, I don't like how it looks just torn off like that. So I try to cover up as much as I can, much as I can of the part that I just pulled off. People probably not gonna be that picky, but I just don't like it. Just like this, I don't really like that, but I'm not gonna put more than that. I don't think they're really gonna be focused on that, but. I just make sure everything's intact. I did have to push one of the little corks uh, or bottle openers back up. And I thought this was too cute. It has the little cups. It has the body lotion, massage, oil, and it has um, bubble bath here. So I thought that was a real cute little easy already done gift set. And we're just going to put this in this thing, shrink it up, and put a nice big bowl on it. And it's going to look... and professional this is really big but i always tape my sides and stuff so that i can make sure it looks let me make, put it where y'all can see it y'all can see what i'm doing y'all don't forget to give it a thumbs up we're not quite there yet I'm not gonna worry about their little bow that's on the top because it's, it's it's too small for, for what I'm trying to do. But my big bow will cover it up, so I ain't gonna worry about it. So with this, I just take the sides and tape it, and then when you shrink it, everything will look clean and neat. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. I literally just pick it up and fold it back, and it's so seamless like that. So once you shrink wrap this, all this gonna shrink up, and you're not gonna see where you did it at all right okay i'm gonna shrink wrap so it's gonna be loud i'm gonna blow dry If it gets too hot, it cut off. So annoying. Okay, let me just make the bow, y'all. So I'm gonna give the bow dry a minute.
I cut mine slanted, but sometimes I cut it straight across. Let me see if anybody said anything. Um, where did you buy? Okay, we talked about that. Hey, Angela. When will you start selling? I think I'm gonna just do the weekend of, honestly. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe the weekend before and the weekend of. Cause I know everybody don't wait till last minute, but mm, I don't know. I might do the weekend before, yeah, I might do the weekend before Valentine's and then just that weekend up until, of course, Tuesday. And I'll probably be out all day on Tuesday. Okay, let me see. Thank you. Yes, are you selling for Valentine's Day? When you hold it close, it will, We oh, okay, it'll cut off. Yeah, I noticed that. That's why I don't like that blow dryer. I have another one, but it takes a long time for it to, to actually do it. it. Takes a long time. So I prefer to use this one because it's hotter and it's a little stronger than the other one. I'm gonna give it a minute to, to, to so this I actually found, I think this was 90% off too from Michael's. It was, a, yeah, from Michael's for Christmas time last year. So I probably paid like, mm, maybe $2 for this whole row, maybe. I really don't measure it. I'm just pulling some out. Because it's so wide though, I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm not doing baskets this year. I'm selling desserts instead, cakes and candies. Okay, that's smart. I just bought another heat gun, my old one acting up. That's what I said, I want to get a heat gun, but this worked just like a heat gun. So I might as well just use the blow dryer. Okay, y'all. I'm just cutting it straight across right now. Baskets are a lot of work. Yeah, baskets are a lot of work, and you gotta have time to do it. But that's why I was saying too, like if you want to sell for Valentine's too, and you don't want to do baskets, roses is a great thing to do. Roses saved me last year. Okay, so I fold this in half, and then I am going to pinch this here together and then twist it it's basically the same way how you know felicia was teaching us how to do it i've been doing parties oh my gosh that's good you do like the snacks parties so i don't have much time for baskets yeah that makes sense i want to get into that too doing like the, the treat bags yeah so twist it and then i keep it folded in half because this is so so big i just come a little bit back and I fold it. I can get it to act right. Fold it again. And then I twist it. I basically kind of just let it do what it wants to do, to be honest with you. I don't really force it to go away. And then I, I do it again, gather it. And just bunch it. But it does have to be enough so it can puff. So it can puff out. And then I twist it again. I do desserts and the custom pin buttons, custom t-shirts. That's good. Are you on Etsy, um, Cynthia? Because that's where people look for stuff like that. I got one more loop to do. Because it's still a lot hanging. So I pull it out again. It's going to be cutting it close, but I still make that last loop. So I make the last little loop and then and then that's it so then once I attach it here then that's when I fluff it out I don't know if I got enough on here to, to tie this but I'm gonna try yes. I think I'm gonna do. I'm, I think I'm gonna do berries this year too, y'all. I didn't do berries last year. I think I'm gonna do pre-order berries 
um i'm gonna do roses again i did do balloons last year but what i what i think i'm gonna do um adrian gave me an idea today i think i'm going to do packages so i won't be doing like balloons by themselves. it'll be a package where you can get the roses balloons and berries together as a set and people can pre-order it that way um I won't have to worry about, you know, selling that stuff outside and the weather and all that stuff. Cause last time I sold balloons, but they ain't do too good. I ain't sell many balloons at all. Sold a few, not too many. See, so the bow kind of makes it, oh, it kind of makes itself. Like it, it just goes the way it want to go just tied up there i'm gonna go ahead and uh blow dry now stay away so it don't go turning off again So that's what those look like. This one is finished. And then this one. So all we did was put a shrink wrap bag and put a bow on it. So I think I'm going to do this one for like 45, 40, 45. What y'all think? This one was originally, well, I don't know the original price, but I paid six. No, I think I paid eight for this one. Yeah. I pay eight for that one. Comment, comment, and let me know how much y'all think that one should be. Let me catch up on y'all comments because I haven't been looking. Yes, I do. Okay, I was thinking of getting into doing treat bags, and yeah, I like that. That's what I want to do. I probably do that too. Not yet. That's my goal this year is to open up a shop. Yes, girl. I do local order orders. That's awesome. That seemed like a fun business to have too. I started my gift basket business. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, girl. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh my gosh. So are you selling for Valentine's Day? I don't want to mess your name up. Mahila. Is that did I say that right? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I've been doing it for years. It's fun, if that's your thing. I love to bake and do the party stuff, yeah. Hey, Cynthia. After seeing you make that bow, I'm sorry. I didn't get that red mesh. 
I don't really like working with it because yeah, 45 is good. That's what I think. I think I'm gonna do these. I think I'm gonna do these for 45. Cynthia, I love it. I do paper crafting. So I put my own up on tags. Yeah, I was thinking about it too. I wanted to create tags, but you know what I might do, y'all? I think I'm thinking about making stickers. I think I'm, I'm thinking about just printing out stickers and then I can put the prices over where I did the barcode thing because I really don't like that showing. But yes, I have 30 best seconds. Yes, girl. So listen, are you going to go out on the street or how are you going to sell them? Did you decide how you want to sell them yet? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. That's crazy. I'm going to do another one, y'all. Because I have another one like this to do as well. I'm going to do it while y'all on here. Oh my goodness. That's so good. That's a really, really, really good start. Girl, you're going to sell them things in no time. You're probably going to run out. You're going to need to probably make some more. So this one... Everything is in place, so we can just go ahead and package this one. It looks like it's leaking a little bit. I hate, I don't like the ones that come with this little stuff here because they fall out and then you have to reattach and put stuff back together and stuff. Hey, Gloria, how you doing? We're doing simple stuff tonight. We're not doing full out baskets. Y'all make sure we can come in and give it a thumbs up, please. Don't forget. We need them thumbs up so to share. So we'll share with everyone else. I try to keep this camera to where y'all can see what I'm doing. We just about to do another one. That's all. I'm going to just do it with y'all on here. I'm popping up in my front. Yes. In your front yard. Yes. Are you going to do any pre-orders? Pre-orders are easy too. You can like send out a mass. That's how I did the first Valentine's. Send out a mass text message. Just letting your friends and family members know, hey, I got baskets or give them, show them pictures, just send it and you'll have people to pre-order. That'll be, that'll be like, super, you're gonna sell out super fast. Yes, you should try other things. You'll make money. I also, I do all kinds of parties, baby showers. Yeah, that is so fun. Oh my gosh, I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about doing that. Giving, giving it a shot this year. Yes, you should. You really should. I like the little chip bags in the, in the, in the um, I'm good. I finished 90 bags. Dang, and I sold 10. I know that's right. That's good. That's really good. And one thing I, I would I, I don't I don't really want to do it, but if I have to, I will. Tanisha was saying that she um gets in her she puts them in the back of her truck and she just you know goes around to being so people can just pull them out of her trunk. That's a good idea. If you have to do it that way, you don't want to set up a table. You can do it that way. Yes, forty five went to Dollar General twenty five cents, but I didn't not get anything. They were oh, okay. They were cleaning shelves. Yeah, it's cracked up. Try it. With them, but yeah, I know you you already know that. That's why I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, <laughs> uh uh, I don't usually deal with them. I just strictly on the street, and that's it. But the first year I did do that, and it, it worked out well. I think the first year I sold probably like 40. And I ran out. People were still asking for stuff, and I didn't have anything. I was so upset with myself. I'm like, dang, why I didn't make more? But th that year, I actually made too many children's baskets and not enough women's baskets. And then another thing, I didn't have themes. So I had like just a bunch of random stuff, really. I have posted on Instagram and Facebook recently. I'm hoping. Hold on, let's go back. Dang, Angela, you're not playing. That is awesome. I have posted on Instagram and Facebook recently. I'm hoping I get, I'm hoping when I post again and tag, and tag this. Okay, yeah. True. Yeah, the closer it get, the more you're going to sell, you know. Angela, that's so good marketplace oh shoot 
I forget about marketplace. I tell them, pay me first. Of <laughs> you gonna have to, Cynthia. <laughs> you gonna have to. You gonna get an IOU. <laughs> Hi. Let me see, Aileen. How are you? Thank you so much. I appreciate you subscribing. Yeah, I don't post enough too, y'all. Like advertisement is not my strong, my you know that's not my strong point. It it will be. We're gonna get better, but advertising is not. You know, I just be like, whoever get there, they'll, they'll get it when they get there. <laughs> they'll get it when they get there. But no, not this year though. <laughs> yeah, girl, no IOU for real. That's how I be. Y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. <laughs> I had to stick to the street fail. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. I I actually posted Easter baskets on there one time, but I literally waited till like days before Easter, so that wasn't eBay too, y'all. Felicia was telling me to sell on eBay, but I never remember. Like I never remember, so I probably take pictures of, of these crop out the backgrounds and put them on ebay and see how they do on there and then these two it's they're they're easy to ship ba baskets sometimes are so complicated to ship and then you have to worry about stuff breaking and tearing apart and falling but these the way that they're packaged they're packaged so securely to where it's something that's easy for you to ship and then the bowl you know when it get there it just pop right back out i'm like that too i'm so nervous when it comes to advertising but I'm on Instagram trying to get myself more out there. Yeah, you should. You really should. It's, I love Instagram because it has the, the tags, the hashtags. And when people searching for something, hashtag whatever you do, then they find you that way. I'll probably start posting some of this stuff on Facebook too. Y'all giving me ideas. So. Um, I don't know. I don't even really think about the advertising that much, but I know that's what really counts, what really matters. So that people even know what you do. Is anybody else doing treats for Valentine's? They look very nice. I don't have any skills like this. Girl, yes you do. We ain't doing nothing but time. Putting, girl, we ain't doing nothing. <laughs> we do nothing. But girl, you can buy you some pretty, pretty pool bowls and put them things on there and sell them, girl. I'll be selling out of my trunk, my SUV. I live in upstate New York, cold and windy. Yeah, you smart, Angela. That's the right way to do it. Because I probably wouldn't be sitting outside doing it either. Because last year it was so windy and stuff was flying everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere. I was just like, you know what? I think that was Easter. It was raining too. But I had to make it do what it did. I had to make it work. Oh, shoot, y'all. I got to take this one apart. I forgot to take the price off of it. One live. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm glad I didn't take this one on the other side, too. Goodness. Hi. Who said hi, y'all? Everybody. So I forgot to take the tag off of this one, y'all. I'm gonna have to take it off. We're not doing that. We're not leaving tags on. No, we're not. Oh, good. It came off really easy. Where do 
y'all get basket inf in in inspiration from? That's the question. When you make baskets, where do you get inf inspiration from to make them? Like, where do your ideas come from? All right, so easy fix. Okay, let me go back up and read. Sometimes, I'm gonna go up, 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 up. Um, Y'all give me a second, I'm about to read the comments. I'm doing treats and baskets. I'll be vending at a mall. Ooh, yes, Crafty Chick. That's awesome. That's a really good place to be in there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you saw that I ain't take the sticker off, girl. I ain't see it until I flip the thing, the flip the box over. I may rent a U-Haul, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do Turo this time, Angela, because only the fact that with U-Haul, I don't think, I don't know if in my area or if I'm just mistaken that you can keep them for more than one day and so instead i decided to look on toro and rent a car so that i can have it for that whole weekend like the whole thursday friday saturday sunday monday and tuesday that way any baskets that don't sell i can put them back inside of the i'm looking for like a utility van so i can put them back inside of the van and then the next day all i have to do is drive out so with you haul i I believe for me at least it's an overnight thing where they want the truck back the next day so i have to unload that stuff every night to redo another one so but u-haul was really helpful when i did use it that day for mother's day that was super helpful i put everything in put everything out and you know it, it was real good the ramp was really helpful too so that's a good thing to do your go your bow game is tight i'm trying but the bows are hard for me the bows are very complicated ma'am i i honestly my bow my bows ain't dang <laughs> they're coming along thank you though they are coming i have to eat girl listen i got some pulls of pull bows too because i'm a lesser lesser priced item honey they show sure getting pull bows sometimes pinterest other times i wing it yeah pinterest is a good idea too you know what that's a good idea hi okay hey alba how you doing y'all make sure you give it a thumbs up when you come in please i've been placing on marketplace from last summer through christmas more inquiries than purchases a lot are asking for phone number which i don't know why they need my phone number yeah i don't know i don't know about that either they probably i don't know on marketplace who funny i thought you was talking to yourself from watching you guys a bit adding my own flavor that's awesome yeah i do that too there's a lady on YouTube. She did a really, really nice um, coffee basket. It was so freaking cute. And I was like, I'm going to remake that. So it's always good to watch other designers too. And then you take stuff that they do. You take little stuff you can use. And then you leave the other stuff that you don't like. And just make it, you know, make it your own. Your own. Y'all need to hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, y'all please hit the like button. Do you 
Okay, do you put your labels on your baskets? Which labels? What what labels are you talking about, Sandra? Never give your phone the business camera. My inspiration is from YouTube. Mm-hmm. Listen, yes. I love you you already know my sis speed. And um I love let love basket express too. Love, love, love her stuff. Turkisa is amazing too. I love watching Turkisa stuff. I love how unique her gifts are with the balloons and stuff. It's just so so cute. So so cute. Love basket too. And 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 Felicia. Felicia is the whole reason for my business. So the whole reason. I don't focus much on that. Tanisha too. I love I love Tanisha stuff. Yummy yummy tea as well. And um and um why can I not think of her name right now? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I love um uh, y'all tell me who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Some some for some reason I just can't put her words in my mouth. <laughs> Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't focus much on Valentine's Day because my daughter and I have birthdays in February. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, Rochelle. Thank you, Tammy. Nessa, I have to look for her. Put, put her channel here, y'all, so I know. So I can check. So I can look at her videos. I don't watch videos often, but I do want to I do wanna watch um, more who have channels. If y'all know her channel, Nessa, if you know her, her, if you know her channel name, link it for me so that I can link it for me so that I can um, check her channel out. Let me do this, y'all, because I'm sitting here just talking to y'all. <laughs> Let's close this basket or not this basket box. This is probably what I'll use to close them up. These was from last year. They call me up. They call me up in my feed after I followed you and binge watch all your videos. Thank you so much. <laughs> Decorating with Rochelle. Yes, absolutely. That's exactly what I was talking about. And Love Basket Express. I was saying, um, Nessa, her channel. Y'all, if you know her channel name, link it for me or or just write it out so i can go back and look and see what it is all right y'all so i'm gonna tie it up with this with this ribbon i'm gonna get all my little easy stuff out the way because i still have quite a few like flat lay baskets in the storage that's already ready to go i'm so glad I'm so glad I don't have so much to do. And we still got time left so I can focus on other things. I'm really glad about that. I don't know if y'all always hear me say it in the videos, but make sure y'all check City Trends. If you have a City Trends, they usually have really, really, really affordable stuff to put in your basket or even gift sets like this that you can just wrap up and resell. And what I what I love about that is in the area that I sell at, there is no local City Trends. So it's not like somebody can be like, oh, I saw that in City Trends. I already saw that. No. I sell like really far away from where I purchase my stuff. Hey, decorated with Russia. We were just talking about you. I don't know if you were on here, but we were just talking about you. How are your girls doing? One of the, I don't, it's only one girl, just one. <laughs> Pooh is good. <laughs> Pooh is good, it's only one. <laughs> Where is it? I don't see her link. Let me see. Did you did you link? I don't see a link. I don't see it yet. 
Rochelle, how are you? I know you've already got started working on your gifts and things. Okay, y'all, we're going to put the same bow on these. On the, all the little gifts boxes, it's going to have the same bow. Did anybody else on here just start their own gift basket business? It's designing with it. Okay, cool. Designing with Nessa. Okay. I'm going to look her up. I feel like I've seen her channel already before, though. I just don't remember exactly. All right. So I'm going to make another bow. T. Let me see what T said. No, girl. I only have one daughter. I have one child. That's it. One brat. I get some inspiration from Boss Lady Fee, LBE, Rochelle, Lovely T. Who is Lovely T? Hold on, y'all. Y'all ain't tell me about her. And you. Oh, thank you. And put my own spin on the ideas. Sometimes I look at an item, get an idea. Mm hmm. Me too. Yep. You're in the store and like, oh, I can do this with that. Oh, I can do that with this. I'm inspired by Boss Lady P. LBE Turkisa Yummy Tip. Mm hmm. I love uh, Tanisha stuff. Love, love, love it. It's so cute. Hi, Mimi. How you doing? Tell your daughter hi. She is so cute, Rochelle. She is so, so cute. Tell her I said hello. Click the link. I don't see a link. <laughs> I don't see it. I saw the name though. I can just look it up. I'll just type it in. When we get off, I'm gonna, I'll type it in so I can just find it. I think I cut this one a little short, y'all. But always check Michael's too after, um, check Michael's after Christmas because you y'all know all that red stuff you can use for Valentine's. Which I had so much stuff that I didn't, I really didn't, sh I haven't shopped at all, guys. I have not shopped at all. And I'm just glad that I have enough inventory to, I probably have to grab a couple things, but not much at all. But I'm glad I had leftover stuff too that's already prepared that I don't even have to touch. But that's the only thing too, I, I kind of learned my lesson about putting chocolate in it because... I went to, I went back to the storage to see like what I had, what I needed, and a lot of that stuff with the chocolate in it. The expiration date was still good, but when we opened them to taste the chocolate to see if it was still good, it kind of, I don't know, I ain't like it. So I, I'm going to go through and take out all the chocolate from the, bo the baskets that I have. I'm not going to put any chocolate in my baskets at all this year. So the first year I didn't do street sales, so it was okay because i was giving them directly to the people who ordered them they weren't you know melting they weren't sitting and stuff like that so it worked out well but i won't be doing no chocolate not this year not this time so these i'm gonna leave the, these but i'm just gonna um i'm gonna cut them slanted I'm gonna do these for 45 and then we're gonna do those. We're gonna do the, the heart ones for, those are gonna be 60. And then these will be, I think I'm gonna do these for 45, yeah. Do those for 45. And then I'm gonna do these little, I'm gonna do these little flat ones. I think I said I was gonna do these for like $35 flat lay baskets i like these they're easy i think i showed y'all these i showed you this one before but these are easy to transport you just stack them put them in a storage container and just take them so i'm gonna do those for 35 the little flat flat baskets like that let me see any comments let me go up let's see 
inspired by Joy. Who is Joy? Baskets and more. Okay, I gotta see what that is. I don't know Joy. Joy Baskets and more. For Easter, I made up candy bags to give separately with each basket. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Cause I did not like all that. Worrying about the it being uh, melted. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Then I don't like your customers get it and they like, oh, why? You know, I don't like that. I make my desserts fresh either late night, the night before the order, or the same day of delivery. I don't like keeping desserts in the fridge over a day. Yeah, that makes sense. What desserts do you do, Cynthia? And then do you um do you deliver? Do you deliver to your customers or do they usually just come pick them up from you? So just like that, we're done with this. So now we got four gifts here. We got these. We got two of these. We're gonna do 45 each for those. I spent eight dollars on them. And then we got two. And these are gonna be 60 and 60. And those were $20 each. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna package these. How do y'all think I should package these? I was thinking about putting these in the basket, but I think these would be good. Um, I got so many of these. I think these would be good, like twenty dollar, or or maybe a thirty. What y'all think? Tell me what y'all think about that. When we repackage those, how much you think those should be? I'm gonna read y'all comments, and then I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do with with that. I have so many of those and those were six dollars so maybe i do like 25. maybe i do like 25 on those y'all let me know what y'all think i am let me see i don't like chocolate in baskets yeah what city are you in i sell in a city called it's what's it's it's very rural it's called lots of hatchy it's in south florida but it's really really rural rural it's like an equestrian development. That's what I was telling y'all. Like I where I set up, it's away from stores. Period. Like there's no stores nearby where I sell. I make cupcakes, big and mini. I do chocolate chip and sugar cookies, cake pops, chocolate lollipops, mini. Listen, mini pancakes and cupcake and cake cup and brownies girl i know you make oh girl i know you're doing real well people love <laughs> people gonna pay for some food now <laughs> i deliver because i don't feel comfortable people know yeah i don't blame you i would deliver too so cynthia do you do you do you make videos and stuff or no i would love to see how you do your stuff or tiktok or anything like that chocolate covered pretzels and oreos Ooh, that sounds good or are you just on instagram if you are on instagram post your instagram on here so y'all got we got another heart i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this while we while we on here and that'll be all three of those done 
Joy is in Atlanta, Baskets and More. Is she on YouTube album? If y'all haven't gave the video a thumbs up, please do. <laughs> Cynthia, there goes my diet. Girl, sound good, huh? Yeah, I'll probably just be doing the berries only if I get a chance to. If I get a chance, if I have time to do it, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna do the. So this is what I was telling y'all about these little sets. I hate when this happens because either I'm gonna have to open this up, which I don't like to do because I like people to see that it has not been opened when they get their stuff, or I just have to literally play with it until it falls into place. And sometimes that takes a while. I don't always go. I'm only on Instagram, still trying to figure out the YouTube stuff, but I have some stuff up. Okay, cool. Yeah, put your Instagram so we can follow you. So I have to literally play a game with this to get it to go where it's supposed to go, how it's supposed to go. And that's what I don't like about these. I may just have to slice it open and put it in place, though. Oh, we might have it, y'all. We can got it. Almost at least. Completely shake it out of place. Oh, we got it. I'm just try to push it down so that it stays. Oops. No. No. Maybe I can. Um, I still like feel like that's gonna pop out. I might just take this one apart so that I can get it right. Thank you guys. Everybody did their thumbs up. This one I'm gonna just I'm gonna just take this one apart because I don't want it to I want it to be in there securely. Do y'all buy um gift sets like this? Or is it just me? Now it's in there secure. I'm gonna close it back. Okay. All right, so we're gonna wrap that one up and that's gonna be that. I love the soap petals. Me too, they're so cute. They had this set of them in, um, what is it called? They had a set of them in Dollar General and they are so pretty. And they have like the whole stationery to go with it too. So cute. Have y'all ever seen those that I'm talking about? The soap petals? I use those actually for Mother's Day. And they have like a little checklist. They have a planner. They have like a bunch of stuff. Let me take this tag off before I forget y'all. And then we will have to tear the bag open again. I get that from a lot of people. I'm in North Carolina. Okay, I'm about to take this tag off of here. Y'all gotta hurry up. My phone got 10%. My phone is on 10%. So what are y'all working on right now? Are y'all working on... Um, who else is not doing baskets or is doing something else? other than baskets I'm definitely doing doing roses because roses are so simple to get rid of
I guess this still count, y'all, because it's still a gift. <laughs> a little gift box. It's my day off to relax. I'm just watching you. I finished a big t-shirt order. Oh, you do t-shirts too? Set the What do you not do, ma'am? Hey, Miss Stephanie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Is it anybody's first um, year doing, doing, um, is it anybody's first day doing, I mean, first day. Is it anybody's first year doing Valentine sales? That was the question. Thank you, Rochelle. Are you busy at work right now? <laughs> I'm still learning to do more. I love it. <laughs> Girl, you do everything. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Take that little corner, fold it back. This is the tape, y'all. I don't know if y'all see it in the videos. When I easy start duct tape, this is the best tape I have used yet, you guys. So strong and everything. And it sticks so well.
I closed this one with so much air in it. Y'all see that? You see all that air in there? I'm going to just pop a little hole in it so it can come out. I think because I tied it with that ribbon so tight, it's, it left a lot of air in there. done now we're gonna put our big bow on here let me see what y'all saying you said let's see okay i'm trying to go up to see everything y'all said i missed quite a few comments let me go back up Naomi Blessed Baskets. Okay, cool. I'm going to go back through and see all of everybody that you recommended subscribing to. Just you. But you're making me think a lot of doing resale. Yeah, definitely do it. Hey, Rhonda. Thank you so much. This is my second year making baskets. I'm skipping Valentine's Day. I have already started on Mother's Day. Okay. Yeah, Mother's Day is definitely a big seller. I'm going to start early on Mother's Day, too. I don't know if I'm going to do Easter this year, y'all. I didn't do too good for Easter. But I still have a lot of baskets, so I am going to do Easter. Never mind. If I can make money off it, why not? I know, girl. I agree. I agree, honey. I'm, I was raised in New Jersey. I agree about the tape. I especially like it because, yes, it does disappear. Look, y'all, y'all don't see no tape on here. Y'all see it a little bit, but that's just because of the shrink wrapping. <laughs> but it's it's pretty, yeah, it's durable and pretty seamless. It's seamless that you're probably going to get. And where you find pink hearts this month is my first year. Oh, congratulations, Alva. These came from um, Ross. Those came from Ross and the boxes came from TJ Maxx. Okay, Cynthia said, I do mugs, bottles, pin buttons, shirts. I do my own labels and stickers. I've been baking going on about nine years. But when COVID hit, I stopped because I felt like no one would buy. I started up again last year. That's good, girl. Go ahead, girl. You know what I want to do that I, I believe I'm going to start doing is tumblers. If I have time, I really want to do a couple Valentine's tumblers. But you know what? They're so time consuming because, I mean, it's not like it's something I always do. But I'm going to just do some simple ones with my Cricut, put some little words on there. And then that will be my little gift. And they'll just get like a, a Valentine's tumbler. I'm working on my baskets, candy bouquets. And thanks to Yummy Tea, I'm making like me too. But you know, I don't know what to buy. What are you what are you buying and where are you buying from for your naughty baskets? Because I said I was gonna do that last year, but I didn't. But I have I'm you know, I'm gonna show you one item. No, I'm gonna show you two items that I have for one of those baskets. And that's all I really have. So I don't know what else to put in there. Crafty, will people ask you if you made these hearts? No, they don't care. They just gonna buy them, honestly. Um, for Valentine's, most of my customers are men and they're literally looking for something so that they're not in trouble. They don't care who made it. They just, they just, all my customers always say, oh my gosh, you saved my life. <laughs> That's what I get. They literally ask me no questions. Only questions I, I get sometimes is did I, did you put all of this together yourself? That one I get all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And then, um, 
I had one man, he was just like, so you buy all of this stuff just in hopes that people buy it? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> he was just like, wow, I could never do this. So other than that, they really don't ask questions. They just, I mean, they just come look and buy what they want. They don't ask about the, the gift sets, the pre pre-made gift sets. They don't ask about it at all. But I think, I don't know. I don't know. I've never had anybody ask me. Nope, never. So let me do the bow for this one, y'all. And then I'm going to show you. Oh, let me show you the um, Let me show you the two items that I have for the Naughty Baskets first before I forget. And then I'm going to do the bow. And then we got to get off of here because my phone is about to go dead. Let me grab it. Hold on. is the only well this is the only big item that i have to go in one of those baskets and it has a roller massage glove it has a cocoa butter massage oil candle what does this say heatable massage stones silk rose petals inside um activity sheet three decks of instruction cards and a travel bag to carry it in so this is like a massage set so this this basket gonna be pretty pricey because I actually paid the full price for this and that was $30 and so I only have that and then I have these little little chocolate pen things and these were shoot I covered it up already so that's the only thing I have for that type of basket I mean I probably do a couple because I know people are interested in them but I don't know where to even shop because I, I feel like stuff like that is going to be full price and like you know I don't know tell me what y'all think tell me what y'all think or if you know where to get some other items or what to get, let me know. Let me know something. I'm late. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So this is just enough for one more bow. So we did pretty good. Y'all, I don't know where my phone is as far as the battery. So if it cuts off, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'm probably not going to come back on. If it cuts off, I'm warning y'all now. I'll be live again tomorrow. It'll probably be around the same time. Um, so that everybody can tune in. Tomorrow's Saturday, but I'll still do it a little later so that everybody can, can catch it. That's if it cuts off before I'm finished. Let me see what Tammy said. Okay, Rhonda says I came late. I came came in late, but where do you recommend I find gift sets you won't see in Walmart so the customer can't sell? <laughs> okay, Rhonda, you need to try TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls. You know all the discount stores. Try um uh dd's discounts try city trends all of those are great places to find already done gift sets they may not be valentine's Eve, but they may be because if you're buying them right now then they will be but um that's the best those are the best places that i know of where you can find them and then when you repackage them too it's not gonna look like what they saw in the store anyway it looks like a whole new gift so you really don't have to worry about that. People, people, and another thing is people stop at stands like that for convenience. So they're not really thinking, you know, hard about what they just saw in the store or if they even saw something in the store because they're stopping you because you're not, that's not the only reason, but that's usually how it happens. You know, people 
people come across you because you, there's a need and they're like oh shoot let me stop at least last minute people other holidays they were okay but i'm determined not to give up yes don't give up but i'm determined not to give up i did christmas it was good but see he said if you go out on valentine's day i will be inside two days on my front lawn yes definitely do valentine's day valentine's day is definitely a very serious <laughs> holiday for crafters uh make sure your phone ooh, make sure your phone fully charged. yeah i will i will girl omg i missed the live you didn't miss the live we still on here we almost done though I have some Mother's Day mug gift sets from last year. So I might just only do those. Yeah, do those. Get rid of them. None have candy. Yeah, still get rid of them. Or post them online, like you said. Post them online just to get rid of them. Don't hold on to them. So this, yeah, this is our last bow, y'all. And then I'm going to come on tomorrow. I'm going to make sure my phone is completely charged tomorrow when I get on. Cause tomorrow i think i'm gonna i'm gonna plan what what baskets we're gonna make tomorrow i'll probably make a couple on here but i'm gonna be wrapping boxes y'all i'm not buying this year i'm not buying um i'm not buying any baskets i just i just feel like there's not really a need this bowl this bowl might be a little bit smaller because we kind of run out of run out of mesh ribbon let me twist it a little different tammy i really didn't like this ribbon at first either honestly but i like how the bow turned out i don't really like working with it though it's not it's not the easiest to work with but i do like how it turns out Do one more loop over here. And leave a little bit to be like fluffed out some. This one has a baby bow, y'all. I'm gonna try to fluff it out and make it look like the other one. I just play with it to shape it a different way since it's not as big as those i still you know make the shape look nice all righty that is it y'all that is it so that's what we got we got three of those already done and then we got two of these two of those three of these already finished let me see what you guys said before i get off let me see thank you yeah pretty simple you didn't really take much at all so if y'all see some gift sets grab you some um let me see let me read y'all comments and then i'm gonna get off I have a bunch of Easter stuff I got on sale, but I don't know if I want to do baskets this year. Girl, you better get rid of that stuff. What you mean by boxes, sis? I'm going to wrap um, boxes, like just regular everyday boxes, moving boxes. You wrap them in wrapping paper and then uh, fill them 
and i'll probably do a live like that tomorrow so that y'all can see so make sure you tune in for the live tomorrow so that you can see what i'm talking about the boxes to, to wrap the boxes thank you leanne no that's not leanne that's lene i'm sorry reading challenge well if it cuts off have a great have a great night thank you cynthia you too girl i'm gonna i'm gonna try to go find your instagram too pretty thank you versatile illusions okay that deco mesh used for making wreaths uh-huh yep great idea that's why it's fluffy like that mm-hmm yep i don't know do y'all make wreaths i might try it i'm gonna try the boxes again too yeah the boxes work out pretty good for me and y'all you know one thing that you can wrap your boxes in i don't know about the price about how much it is but if you can find you some cheap uh shelf liner that's a great thing to wrap your boxes in i did that for a couple custom baskets and i love how it turned out and then it's not like it can tear up it's actually like glued to the box so it looks like that's how it's made hey tesra okay oh i see looking forward yeah i'll probably wrap the box on camera tomorrow so y'all can see that that way you don't have to worry about buying boxes looking for boxes if you can't i mean baskets if you can't find baskets boxes are just fine i'm so glad uh felicia mentioned that because before i was looking for baskets like crazy national news said last week that valentine's day is uh-huh i can believe that this year is a billion dollar business i can definitely believe that i make wreath you make wreath rochelle i've never made one but i'm gonna try at some point probably not for valentine's but yes i make where do y'all say y'all wreaths at that's my question oh really at alva wish i thought about this sooner I can't wait for Valentine's. I'm making arrangements with the boxes and whatever I have. Thank you for sharing the bus. Thank you, Lene. I would love to see your arrangements, girl. All right, y'all. I'm about to get off so that I can save this live for other people to watch as well. Because I think if I let it hang up, it's not going to. So if I let it go dead, I don't think it's going to do it. So. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to go live again tomorrow, so be looking out for that. In the evening time, I'm not going to do it early, so it's probably be about 7 o'clock, about the same time. So, All right, y'all. Thank you, and have a good night. Go ahead and end it now.